if we were not there for them, what would happen? The experience in sponsoring these children is just really awesome. We're really talking about the future, um, the future of these children, the future of the Philippines. Philippine International Aid, or PIA, was established in the San Francisco Bay Area. PIA was approached by Caritas Manila, the social arm of the Catholic Church, to fund a rehabilitation center for child prostitutes between the ages of 7 to 14, where the children could regain their self-worth and learn new skills. PIA and Caritas also sought to find other ways on how to deter parents from selling their children. PIA believes education is very important in improving the lives of the poor children. Three years after we started the Martian USA, I remember we uh, started in 1987. We added one or two every year. At present, we have 11. One in college, five in high school, and five in elementary grades. It's been about 15 years of being involved with this really exceptional organization. There are about 25 children in that 15-year period whose lives have touched mine. Today, the, I have uh, six active sponsorships. In 1987, I attended a gathering where uh, they showed a video of street children in Manila. I'll tell you, that video uh, to me was so powerful, and the images of the kids and, and their needs you know, on this, on the, in, in Manila, that, I mean, after that, I was prompted to do something. I've contributed to a lot of charities, but this one is kind of special because you're right, it's very, it becomes very personal because you know who you're helping because they send regularly, they send, they send pictures, they send letters, um, I get the school report cards. And so there's, there's, a real, there's a real connection. We talked a lot about it and we talked about the fact that sponsoring the kids keeps them in school. I'm grateful to give him the opportunity to participate with me. So we read the letters of the kids they uh, tell us about school, so we get their report cards. The children are a story in themselves. They're a story in courage. They're a story in persevering despite odds that would just break your heart. I read their stories, I get their report card, and I think, how is it that these young people, who by right should have been defeated by life, um, every year send me notes and always, the notes are always so touching they go, because they always pray for me and my family. These are people that life has dealt a horrible blow and yet they think about me and my family. It's a letter from my child in the Philippines. Good day and how are you now? If you ask me, I'm always fine. Together with my brother and sisters, by the grace of our Lord anyway, Thanks for the blessings, always more power. Always take care, La Jamaica Cursera. The cost of sponsoring a child's education is only $150 a year. And it covers books, school supplies, field trip expenses, uniforms, shoes, meals, and transportation allowances. That's really only 40 cents a day. A small amount of money that really goes a long way. When we were driving here, I was telling Javon all the things that our money does to support the kids. And it just seems like very little that goes so far to helping them in their lives. It's really rewarding. And all of us were trying to figure out some way to help the Filipino people and the country. And I thought this was a perfect way. Because number one, they were children. Number two, we're talking about their education, which should be a right, not an option. And number three, the cost. I thought about it and it cost $150 a year to sponsor one child. That's 50 cents a day or something like that. So you can't lose. Since 1987, thousands have gone through the program and thousands more have graduated from grade school, high school and college. This would not have been made possible without the generosity and dedication of our donors across the United States and in the Philippines. Each one of them is making a difference by giving a child a chance for the future.